Let's get you on the hottest fashion picks right now. This time, Prada's Velvet Cahier bag is taking all the color. Made in velvet and dripping with glam, the bags have a colorful ambiance and a chic feel that is sure to make any outfit pop. As always, Prada gives a cool boom with different color offerings and a going rate of $2,680. All that's left to see is if this bag will become a street style fave. out the trending makeovers to spice up your looks. Let the pros take you on one fashion-tastic spin. It's a quick take of elegant simplicity and dazzling fashion glam. All eyes on it, we spot on it. Check out the latest fashion roundup as they hit the web. For more trending details on fashion do's and don'ts and the most fantastic pieces, watch Spice TV's Fashion 360. So if you're a Beyonce fan, know that she has done it again because Forbes has just released its annual list of highest paid female celebrities and she tops the list by a way, I might add, because she earned about 105 million in the year 2017. Now this, she is quickly followed by Adele, who earned 65 million, and then Miss Beyonce earned about, you know. Almost double. A, a lot, a lot more <laughs> than Adele did. And number three on the list is Taylor Swift. She earned 44 million, and the list goes down. There's uh, Rihanna somewhere there. There's Dolly Parton, there's Jennifer Lopez, Katy Perry, Britney Spears, Barbara Streisand. You know, a lot of people, but I mean, Beyonce makes a lot of money. Have, For someone that hasn't released music this year. Exactly, because, uh, okay, they are, they are, the poll was taken from June last year to June this year. Yes, mm -hmm. that's what it is. I mean, you know, she released the Lemonade album, which was but a critical success. Mm -hmm. and she released Lemonade at the end of last year, right? Mm, I think so, yeah. 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 And that song she released for the flood, the hurricane victims in Puerto Rico, it was no profit. Yeah, of course. So she has, as in, she has actually made no music this year. And she has made 105 million. Yeah, because I mean, the formation tour made about 250 million. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy, I mean, but even, but I mean, the thing I'm t talking about is that the next person to Beyonce was 69, which Adele, and she made a lot of money off tours. Well, that just shows that the kind of brand that Beyonce has, I think, is the branding, not necessarily the music, because I'm sure, like, when it comes to music, while Adele did better than Beyonce, you get with, with the sales and all that, but when it comes to brand, I think there hardly is any bigger brand in the world than Beyonce at the moment. Oh, PDG. Hardly. Okay. Hardly. I was like, brand. I was like, wait, because because that was like. There are a lot of bigger brands than Beyonce. Okay, but then course. can I? Is it 105 million in music or just like 105 million in all all the franchise that she's involved in? Oh, uh, I think it's the franchise. Okay. I think it's the whole thing. Okay, then that makes music. sense. That, obviously, that's yeah, that's compared to. But I feel like by next year, Rihanna is going to be somewhere close to the top. of But I mean, it's almost a yearly thing for Beyonce now. Yeah, well, I feel like as if Beyonce has, like, obviously she has a lot of, she's invested in so much and everything else. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, that's why I'm saying that for Rihanna, I feel like Rihanna might go higher on that list next year because of Fenty Beauty. Because Fenty Beauty has raked in a lot of money for Rihanna. Yeah, it has raked in a lot of money. You're talking about Fenty Beauty, I mean, maybe next year she might yeah, be second. Yeah, we'll see. And maybe she, like, releases, she releases new music also. Yeah, and true, it's also, true. like, going to, like... I don't, I don't really think Rihanna makes a lot of money from her music. I think she makes a lot compared to her other ventures, you know, the makeup yeah. and the fashion and everything. I think she makes a lot more from her ventures and endorsements as yeah. opposed to her music. And her concerts, because yes. she still sells out her concerts. Okay. Even though everybody swears she can't sing live, but she still sells out her concerts. <laughs> <laughs> What other way is befitting enough to announce that Rihanna will be the guest editor at Vogue Paris? I mean, three incredible covers. Bad Girl Riri featured in not one, but three fashion editorials shot by three photographers for the magazine's Christmas issue. Actors, designers, filmmakers, and models, including Nelson Mandela, Catherine Dunuvi, Vanessa Paradis, Martin Scorsese, and David Hockney, have all taken a turn in the editor's chairs for the Christmas double issue. Photographed by three different distinctive photographers, Rihanna 
Rihanna was starred by Mel Ottenberg with conceptualization and modeling by Rihanna herself. Let's get you on the hottest fashion picks right now. This time, Prada's Velvet Cahier bag is taking all the color. Made in velvet and dripping with glam, the bags have a colorful ambiance and a chic feel that is sure to make any outfit pop. As always, Prada gives a cool boom with different color offerings and a going rate of $2,680. All that's left to see is if this bag will become a street style fave. Off and on the red carpet, stunning Osas Igodaro is bound to make heads turn. Just my journey is what I talked about being on stage and how it was supposed to be just six months of me being in Nigeria and the fact that I'm being recognized for something that I have such a passion for and that I love to do. We are giving it up for when she set these covers on fire with that smoldering look. With Osas, everything is smoldering. Face, smile, act, and of course, that banging body. I just feel truth works out better at the end of the day. And the designers love her just fine. Check out Osas's custom made Andrea and Maya lace gown at her wedding. Total love? How about the time she nailed those other red carpet moments with her partner, Venra? Yummy couple, yeah? I was very emotional. I was just like, are you kidding me? I won. What? If you try today, if you cry. <laughs> By God's grace, hopefully I will cry on stage. <laughs> These couple moments are the life of the red carpet. Next up, we know we've been talking about the Victoria's Secret show a lot, and I feel like as if the runway models looked absolutely stunning in their long legs, their amazing you know body, Mario Nicolas, though. bouncy That's hair. Can we? I feel like we should not dwell on Mario Nicolas before, like we see tears in the studio. Okay. okay. <laughs> their long legs, their bouncy hair, their gorgeous bodies, and the amazing outfits they were wearing down this runway. But you know they were glowing. So so amazingly that it's not just good lighting and like a perfect highlighter like fancy beauty. But in any case, models like Lily Aldridge were kind enough to key us in on what made their skin glow. Now she says they use a brightening mask called the Gold Skin Brightening Facial Treatment by Eleven Skin. Yeah, it's kind of a mouthful, but apparently the mask is a hydrogel, so it layers on like a second skin. It also has acids like amino acid and some other amazing stuff that are good for your skin. So it gives you the glow feel that you absolutely need. And the good part is it's not gold colored. There's actually like some liquid gold in there. So it's like proper luxury. Oh, that, 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 that sounds proper expensive. Yeah, it does. I don't even want to know how much it costs. That sounds like, proper expensive. But sure ladies, you guys have it all. I mean, just can you imagine? Because Look at the complex treatment you just described. I mean, I don't feel like as if it's only women that are allowed to do this. I'm sure you can, you can do it. Oh, no. So that you can glow. Imagine how you, you'll be popping like you are competing with me. With this I don't want to compete with you. I Glowing give it to you. Off glow your up. cheekbones. You. Like, you have you're won. Boom, boom. <laughs> like Wonder Woman. TV personality, actress and model Mini Delamini is the cover star for South Africa's True Love magazine. The newlywed opens up about the hashtag becoming Mrs. Jones and building her media empire. For the cover, she's sultry in a pale pink palette, wearing an unzipped biker jacket with high-waisted pants. Her hair is styled wet and wild, complementing smoky eyes and nude glossy lips. This is not the first time Millie has covered the magazine. She was featured in November 2014, rocking darker bangs and red lips beauty trends that were major at that time. She is the boohoo fashionista. Tonya Garrick braids it with a difference. Our poster girl for the short crop finally takes a turn for a life of long hours of braid life. And no, this doesn't come with a headache. Oh, na, 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 na. 
Tonya Garrick chic tracks are packed full with love. And what's not to love? This bold earring moment on flowing locks might be the start of a new movement for Nigerian fashionistas. The longest part of me getting ready are these two things, my hair and my face. On the style radar, Tonya is definitely the screen diva without the bodycon slaying for Africa with her step out game. Yes, baby girl, for this and every stylish moment scored, we see you. Okay guys, and lastly on the show today, jeweler My Livelihood has proposed to his girlfriend Diola Smart. Now, started dating about two years ago in 2015, and now he has proposed to her. And if you've been following the gist, you know that My Livelihood is a very, very generous guy because he splurges all the time. He got her a 10 carat Cartier watch. He also got her a mansion, or got them a mansion for Valentine. And now recently, at the Heathrow Airport, he proposed to her with a hundred and fifty six K dollar ring, which I think approximately is fifty six million naira worth of diamonds. So So can I just mm. say that that ring is absolutely stunning. It's very gorgeous. Like the rocks, everything. Can you see the dreamy look you have on your face? No, I'm to be honest. Aren't you one of those people that say anything you propose to me without I'll no, take no, it, I'll take I've, it. I've never been any of I've if never not, never I'm just I I said I don't you one of those people. No. You sure? No. So it gives you like it's not what is monsters in the heart, no? Please can we not let's just talk about the okay. ring. Okay, let's talk about the ring. But yeah. <laughs> the ring is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I think um but I just feel like as if for Nigerians, it's not very practical because half the time you have to wear a fake one because they will steal that thing from your face. Yeah, I mean, just take the, the even not even talking about Nigerians, I'm talking about Kim Kardashian and the robbery. Exactly, types, like you know? every, but so. I feel like as if in Nigeria, it's just like it's just a little bit extra. No, you can you just know, be, you, you can literally you, just be on your phone in traffic mistakenly. You, you can't even wind down. Hold your phone. You can't. What even if you have to have wound down. Exactly. So I just feel like as if it's absolutely gorgeous and I, obviously they don't necessarily relate to the general public seeing as he's such he's a luxury jeweler. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure whenever they roll out they have security and whatever, whatever. They obviously have all, all these things in place to protect them. You know, and she, uh, her, her dad was a senator at one point. Yes, yeah, so but mm -hmm. I just feel like as if it was, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. But oh, I can't wear it, I can't wear it to my chest. I'll be so afraid every time I'll be doing like this. <laughs> you take off your neck I'm just telling, to get I'll literally ring. be like... Let's see how that goes. A lot of people probably thinking, oh, you're not that 56 million naira ring, what kind of house are they going to live in, blah, blah, blah. I don't think you should worry about my livelihood because I, I think he is the, good. The, the house he gifted like. himself and Diola for Valentine cost about $1.5 million. So, the mansion. So, they are good. I think when it comes to the money thing, I think they are good. So, people. Is he hiring? I think we should go and fix up our lives. That's is all, he that's hiring? All, that's the moral lesson Does he need like a chef or something? Oh, you cook? I will see what I can do for you. Actress Tracy Ellis Ross hosted the American Music Awards recently, and as typical for award show host, Tracy had a lot of stylish ensembles. From sequins to tulle, and even one of her mom's iconic outfits from 1981, here are some of Tracy's outfits she wore. Strutting to the red carpet in a floor length maroon sequin Stella McCartney gown with Tamara Mellon strap sandals, Tracy arrived at the award show in grand style. She opened the big night on stage in an over the top iridescent pleated Ronald Vada Kemp gown and a sleek updo. For a quick outfit change, she went with a shimmering ice blue fringe beaded dress with turquoise jewelry and silver mules. Off and on the red carpet, stunning Osas Igodaro is bound to make heads turn. Just my journey is what I talked about being on stage and how it was supposed to be just six months of me being in Nigeria and the fact that I'm being recognized for something that I have such a passion for and that I love to do. We are giving it up for when she set these covers on fire with that smoldering look. With Osas, everything is smoldering. Face, smile, act, and of course, that banging body. I just feel truth works out better at the end of the day. And the designers love her just fine. Check out Osas's custom made Andrea and Maya lace gown at her wedding. Total love? How about the time she nailed those other red carpet moments with her partner, Venra? Yummy couple, yeah? I was very emotional. I was just like, are you kidding me? I won. What? If you try today, <laughs> if you cry. By God's grace, hopefully I will cry on stage. <laughs> These couple moments are the life of the red carpet. Sign
Alright guys, that's it for today's episode of Fashion 360. I think the highlight of the show for me today was the fact that somebody out there actually got proposed to with a 56 million naira ring. And people out here can't even get the text back. And there's some people that are out here giving promise ring. There was can something I put up on my on my on my <laughs> Snapchat that said it was somebody that tweeted it that if he gives you a promise ring, next time he tells you he's hungry, fix him a promise plate. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like a plastic plate like plastic chicken. <laughs> I feel like I see, like this has really like raised the bar out there for ladies. Yeah, like, like, come on! I, know I said we can't even get a text back. I yeah, mean, like I mean, I mean, that's on you. It's crazy, yeah. Fifty-six. Wow. Anyway. Wow, wow. wow. If you want to keep up with more gist and find out more about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, please visit our website at www.myspice.tv or our social media handle, which is Spice TV Africa, across all platforms. If you want to keep up with your presenters, ESO is the official ESO across all platforms, including YouTube and SoundCloud. Give me a ring. <laughs> Give me, really? His number is 08077668899. Yes, call that number at night. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Valerie.ek on Instagram and City Sunday on Snapchat. Until next time, this has been Spice TV's premiere show, Fashion 360, and we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Science it, science it, science it, science it.